Uh, good afternoon, I'm Tom Demmer, state representative from Dixon. You know, when we think of the state's economy today, we should really be thinking about two things. First, what can we do to support the businesses across Illinois who have been decimated by the impact of the closures and restrictions in place due to the pandemic? And second, what can we do to ensure that as we move beyond the pandemic, Illinois is in a good place to capitalize on the dramatic economic growth that will be taking place in resurgence across the entire United States? Today's announcement from Governor Pritzker flies in the face of both those priorities. First, by depriving businesses in Illinois of relief that was passed in a bipartisan fashion in Washington through the CARES Act. And second, by taking away one of the valuable tools that we have in place to make Illinois more competitive when it comes to new jobs and new investments and new economic growth. When the governor himself signed the bill enacting the Blue Collar Jobs Act, he and Republicans and Democrats around Illinois talked about the fact that it made Illinois more competitive, that it gave us an economic leg up on other states around the country and around the Midwest in adding new jobs and investments in Illinois. That's precisely the kind of tool that we'll need as we emerge from the pandemic and the entire world starts to rebuild the economies that have been so uh, profoundly impacted by these closures. The fact that uh, these, these announcements have been made by the governor through a press release, and it appears that he uh, is seeking to unilaterally freeze implementation of the Blue Collar Jobs Act. Again, I'll remind you, a bill that passed with bipartisan support that he himself signed that says in statute, businesses shall be eligible for these incentives starting on, on January 1st of 2021. The fact that he's seeking to take this unilateral action, I think continues a trend that we've seen out of the governor's office of government by the executive branch alone. That's not the right kind of leadership for Illinois. That's why we as legislators are standing here today to say, let's deliver relief to businesses impacted by COVID and let's deliver a tool to Illinois to help us attract new investments and new jobs as we rebuild coming out of this pandemic.